Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your October 2019 future love reading. Sagittarius, you can now find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter at SecretTarot1111 and I will leave those links down below in the description box. All right, Sagittarius, this is for you. Please keep in mind, time is fluid, so you could be dealing with a situation like this right now. You could be dealing with a situation like this a month from now, a couple months from now, right? Your future love reading. All right, so let's see what is going on with your future love. This is for Sagittarius. October 2019, future love for Sagittarius. What's going on with their future love? What is going on? Okay. Okay. So there is a toxic situation here that somebody's trying to work on. Maybe they're trying to work on themselves for you, Sagittarius. They want you to give them another shot here. Um, they know you brought some sort of codependency, right? Addictions are affecting your romantic life to me. This is the devil card in the tarot where there's something toxic here that they brought to the situation. They're aware of that. They want to fix it. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay. So that is what's going on here. All right. So let's see what else we can find out here for you, Sagittarius. They may be, you know, trying to fix themselves for you so they can come back in and fix the relationship. Do you know what I'm saying? So let's see what else we, we can get for you. This is for Sagittarius, October 2019. If this resonates with you, Sagittarius, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Sagittarius, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Sagittarius out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. This is for Sagittarius. For October 2019, what's going on with their future love? What is going on with their future love? Okay. A lot of major arcana here. Four in a five card spread. So this person is undergoing some major, major changes. Okay. Um, definitely going through some major changes here. Um, they still see you as you are queen of wands, right? They see you picking yourself up. They see you dusting yourself off. They see you stepping back into your power and moving forward. This person um, would really like to work on the situation with you. They know that things were imbalanced between the two of you. They know that um, it was very one-sided between you and this individual. And it was because they were dealing with some sort of toxic issue. Whether, you know, and that could be anything that could be addiction, um, drugs, alcohol, whatever the case may be, porn, right? This could be third party. This could be anything that is toxic that they brought to the situation to make it fall apart. Okay. They make, they made the situation fall apart because of their toxic behavior. You kept trying here. Okay. The situation was very, very imbalanced. All right, so, and they know this, right? So they really weren't putting in everything that they could put in because something toxic was messing up the whole situation. So now they want to fix it. Now they want to work on it, okay? And they see you 
you're still very attractive, right? Very beautiful. The Queen of Wands is very passionate energy. Queen of Wands takes takes a hit um, when things go go awry, right? When things fall apart, her self esteem, her confidence, they take they they take a hit. But they see you, you know, stepping back into your power. That is the energy of the Queen of Wands, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And they find that very appealing. They found you very appealing before. Male or female absolutely does not matter. Um, this person is undergoing um, a lot of changes in their personal life. They're trying to get their life under control here, right? They're working on things because they want to come back in and work on the relationship with you. Okay? So they're trying to get a hold of themselves, Sagittarius. Um, I'm going to read the energies of the cards here. If the sign of the person that you are dealing with or have dealt with or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. You could be dealing with this now or in the future. And some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. Let's see what's behind that. They still feel this strong soulmate connection with you, two of cups. They want to see eye to eye. They want a relationship with you, Sagittarius. They want a union here. They cannot shake that feeling that um, the two of you should be together. Two of cups, this is water, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. When they come back in, it is going to be um, very sincere, okay? This, this could take some time because right now, like I said, they are getting control of themselves. They are getting control of their life. They see you moving on. Like I said, they see you as the queen of wands, you know, the picking yourself up dusting yourself off and content and continuing to move forward they know that you are doing that so they know um they're going to have to get it together they're going to have to get their butt in gear okay knight of pentacles this is going to take some time this is going to take some time um this horse is barely uh moving but when they do come back in um it's not going to matter. They, they're not going to care if you are with anybody. They, they don't care. They're going to make you an offer. And it is going to be sincere. All right. So Knight of Pentacles, that's Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is very grounded energy. They're going to want to start um, slowly. Right. They're going to want to... Um, allow you to build trust in them again, right? Here it is. We got the king and the queen of wands here. This is a soulmate connection. Two people that are very passionate about it. The attraction is strong. The passion is still strong between the two of you. However, it fell apart because this person was doing something toxic, brought something toxic to the equation. This King of Wands, this is an energy of a go-getter. What they want, they go get it. And they know they've got to put the work in. They absolutely 100% know that they're going to have to fix themselves first and then come back in and try to fix the relationship with you. They know this. And nothing is going to stop this person from doing exactly that. King of Wands, that's Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. When the, when the masculine and the feminine of the same suit pop up in a reading to me that's a very strong soulmate connection and then we've got the two of cups it's a soulmate connection right so they're going to try to fix themselves for you them in their current situation they're holding back i don't feel like they're speaking to you at at right now they are trying to they're trying to find courage and strength within themselves to get control of their lives and to fix whatever this is that is causing this toxicity and causing causing them to behave in a toxic way so they themselves are trying to be strong here they themselves are trying to find that courage to move forward and to heal themselves here it's a very spiritual card here leo energy 
their feelings towards you. They know that it was a very unbalanced situation and they want to bring reciprocity here. They want to see eye to eye with you. They know that they're going to have to put work in. Um, they and it's like they've they've met their match here with you Sagittarius they can't shake it and they don't want to they 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 don't want to shake this situation with you they don't want to let you go here they want things to be balanced they don't want to put all the effort and all the work in your in your court like it was last time like maybe they realized that they were kind of stringing you along breadcrumbing you because they were out and about doing all kinds of things and behind that it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all they know that they've got their work cut out um and like i said with this card they are going to take it slow so that you can see that they are trust they are trustworthy sagittarius so they want this reciprocity with you they put in the work you put in the work they don't want to put everything on your plate right so six of pentacles that's earth taurus virgo capricorn the challenge is can they heal the situation star card aquarius energy right did i say this was earth taurus virgo capricorn forgive me if i said something different the challenge here is wish fulfillment the challenge here is healing the situation okay the star card they don't know if they're going to be able to do it but they're trying to find the strength and courage to persevere and move forward and heal themselves so they can heal the relationship with you they want this so badly they still want you Sagittarius they feel like it's fate they feel like it's de destiny here they want the stars to align they want this thing to happen with you okay however the challenge is can I heal myself can I heal myself well enough so that I can go back in and make the sincere offers to Sagittarius, right? Do I have the courage? Do I have the strength enough to heal myself so that I can have a better relationship? That is the challenge. The actions they will take is the emperor energy. So this is Aries, right? They, the, the emperor is all about control. So they are going to get control of themselves. They are going to get control of their lives. They are going to make sure that they heal from whatever toxicity this is. They are going to um, fix it so that they can come, come back in. They can come back in strong and that, and let you know that they're for real and let you know that yeah you can trust them that's how they're seeing this right now the outcome here is the hierophant so this is the goal that they have with you higher levels of commitment here with you sagittarius this is taurus energy that is the goal um, and possibly the outcome if you allow it if they can prove to you that they have healed themselves that they have gotten control of their life, if they have gotten rid of anything that is toxic, whether that's um, addictions or third party or, or whatever the case may be, right? They want you to know that they're sincere and they are in it for uh, the long haul. They, they want that higher level of commitment here with you. All right, so let's see. What other information we can get for Sagittarius? For October 2019, for their future love reading, what is going on here for Sagittarius? Look at that. Ten of Cups. This is what they want with you. All right. So, happy partnership, happy home, happy family. Ten of Cups, full of love. This, this is what they want. Higher levels of commitment with you, Sagittarius. They're turning their past. They're turning their back on the past. And they see this bright future with you. This is what they want. This is what they're waiting for. They, they are just, this is planning stages. This is them going through the motions of healing themselves 
getting control of their lives. They hope they have the strength and the courage to be able to do that because they want to come back in and they want, they want to be with you, right? They want to be with you forever and they want to work on this situation. They don't want you carrying uh, the weight of the relationship like you were before was very imbalanced before and they understand that they know that they know that they screwed up and they are making plans here with that three of wands fire energy getting getting a hold of themselves so that they can be a better person for you all right so and it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what you're doing they know that you're you're moving forward they know that um they they're not going to care when they feel like they are ready they're going to come in and they and they feel like they are good enough for you and they're strong in in, in their healing they're going to come in with some very serious offers for you here sagittarius all right so very good. That is what's going on with your future love. Um, I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope it resonates with some of you, most of you, right? Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Secret Tarot 1111. And I will leave those links down below in the description box. Um, what else? You can also find that information in my about section as well. Um, there in my about section and down below in the description box, you can find a weekly schedule so you know when your weekly reading will be released. And what else? Let's see. There's also a live schedule. So I go live usually every day except for Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time. And um, yeah. That's about it. Next week, I'll be working on the November 2019 monthly readings, the big ones. So um, check all of that out, Sagittarius. I hope you have enjoyed your reading. I hope you have a beautiful evening and you take very good care of yourself. And I will talk to you soon, okay? Take care and God bless.